G'day guys, welcome back to the bunker. Today we've got something a little bit different. Uh, a friend of mine a few days ago um, said to me that he thought it was almost impossible for players of our ability to uh, get an 8 break on the 12 foot table. So I thought I'd see whether that theory held true and give it a bit of a go. So this was my fourth rack of the day. So um, I'd actually got quite close previous to this. Um, I just needed to have a little bit of luck go on my side. So hope you enjoy watching this break. So a really good break there, spread them out nicely. Made a nice 14 ball into the side. And I've got a shot over into the other side pocket. I want to play a bit of topspin here. Nicely off the cush, leaving me a fine cut into the same pocket. This one here, I'm just trying to stay in amongst the balls. It's it's quite thin, so. Pretty easy to lose control of the ball, just had to make sure the pot got very lucky with that kiss there. So um, now I sort of realised this was a really, really good opportunity. So um, deep breaths <laughs> and try not to have that cue arm tense up too much. So I'm looking to play a nice little uh, screw shot here. Leaves me basically the option of any of those three balls. But I was thinking, um, I'll get this difficult one here out of the way with the rest. Hopefully leave myself a nice 13 into the other bottom corner. And that'll give me the best opportunity at clearing the table. On a sort of a side note, um, I do have the odd game of um, pull, 8 ball and 9 ball on the 12 foot table. I actually find that it's quite good uh, practice for snooker too because you tend to take on a lot of angled shots that you, you don't necessarily take on in snooker quite so much. So definitely good for your potting. And it's just nice to do something different sometimes. So I got myself really nicely on that 13. Glad to get rid of the rest. As you'll know from previous videos, uh, the rest is not normally my friend. So I'm going to look to um, play just above centre here, come off that bottom cush. Give myself a nice uh, shot on the yellow there. There was a risk of going too far and getting behind the black, but looking really good on the yellow. A little screw shot here now. If possible, I don't want to roll too far up the table and make it too difficult um, for a right-handed, seeing as I'm a right-handed player. And that's about as good as I could have probably done there. So now, reasonably long pot on the black, very missable. Certainly missed them in the past, so I haven't really talked to myself to try and get as comfortable as I can on this. It's still a wee bit of a stretch. Just can't quite get that cue flying. But hopefully you enjoyed this today. Something a wee bit different, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.